Hi, so today I'm going to talk to you about modern classics. My top 10 modern classic makeup that I think is going to last for years and years. Um, there are some classic pieces of makeup, such as the Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer, um, Maybelline Mascara, things like that, Touche Eclat, that will always be classics. But there's a whole new wave of products that I think every woman should have in her beauty stash. Um, so what makes a classic? Well, the products have to be amazing quality. Whether they're inexpensive or hideously expensive, the quality has to be impeccable. Uh, and they have to have a wow factor that will last for years and years and that will transcend different trends. So I think that's what a classic is. So my top 10, um, starting uh, in no particular order, number one, I would say this is definitely a modern classic. It is Charlotte Tilbury, the wonderful makeup artist, Magic Cream. Um, Charlotte always used to get asked on her shoots uh, what she used on the model skin and she had created an amazing sort of elixir that she would massage into the model skin and it would make the skin look flawless, glowing and it would sink straight into the skin. It would just be absorbed so that you could just have suddenly apply makeup and it wouldn't look greasy, it would just look glowy and it smelt amazing. Well after years and years Charlotte actually packaged this amazing cream and is now selling it and it's called Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream it's absolutely beautiful. I can't bear to use it every day because it is absolutely gorgeous. It sort of smells of roses and it does something incredible to your skin. I'm not sure what it is, but it just looks sort of poreless and glowy without being shiny or greasy. It's also got an SPF of 15 in it. So that's number one. Number two, this was recently launched. It is Lancome's Miracle Air de Ton or Miracle Air de Ton. Uh, it is, well, it is sort of like a foundation, except they don't really want to call it a foundation. Um, they've actually called it a perfecting fluid. Air and blur technology is what they say. Because it is incredibly fine. Um, it's got, it comes in a little dropper like this. You put it onto your skin. You'll see it's already sort of dripping across my hand. Because it is incredibly fine and it blurs into the skin like nothing else I've ever tried. It has this amazing soft texture that just disappears into the skin so it just evens out your complexion and I think that is the sort of the new wave of foundations, how they're going to be. It's uh, paving the way for the rest of foundations. It's no longer about applying a thick cakey base of makeup. It's about products that make your skin look like skin whilst covering imperfections etc at the same time. So that is an amazing product. So that's number two. Number three is this product I absolutely love. It's by Aurelia Probiotic Skin Care. They gave me a little sample of it and it was about this big and I used it all up and I've been dying for it to come out. It's called Refine and Polish Miracle Balm and it's an exfoliator. Now if you don't use an exfoliator please add this to your skincare weaponry because um, an exfoliator, if it's a good one, will get rid of all your dead skin cells and will reveal the new skin underneath without being too harsh on the skin and will leave skin glowy and will also allow for any products that you put on top to be better absorbed and any makeup that you put on, on top to be better applied. This is a beautiful product. You put it on, um, it's made with uh, natural products and um, enzymes that dissolve any dead skin cells and any sort of debris that is cluttering up your pores. You put it on, um, leave it on, say while you're in the shower for a couple of minutes, massage it in and you can feel there are these kind of like little grains but they're really not harsh, they don't feel like sugar or something, they're really really gentle and you have never felt skin like it. It is the softest skin you've ever tried. I think that is going to be incredibly popular. Okay, so that is number three. Number four, if you're pale and pasty like me, then um, I always like to use a bit of self-tan, especially if I'm going out or if I've got my 
my legs out or something like that. But I think it's really passe. I think it's really sort of aging now to look really, really tanned. So um, a light tan is the order of the day. This was recommended to me by another uh, beauty uh, editor and it's called Sienna X Gradual Glowing Self Tan. And it just comes out as a really believable soft glow. It isn't too brown, it isn't orange, it is a sort of very soft bronzy glow and it doesn't streak and it doesn't smell of horrible digestive biscuits. So that is fabulous. Number four. Number five. I don't know if many people use this mascara, but I think it is absolutely fantastic. It's called Clinique High Impact Extreme Volume Mascara. Uh, it's a very long title, but it is absolutely brilliant. I've got it on now. I'm gonna see if I can apply another coat and you can see what I mean. This one's quite old actually, I should get a new one, but um, it just lengthens, it's got one of those um, plastic brushes, not a sort of a, a bristly brush, but one of the ones made out of little plasticky nibs. And it's incredible because it lengthens the lashes, it really, really doesn't clog, I mean I've never really seen it clog, and you really only know, need one coat, although I am applying two today. Um, and it really does make a difference. Somebody said to me recently when I had it on, are you wearing eyelash extensions? So I think that's proof that it is pretty amazing. God, I think I'm getting it in my hair. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's a good one. If you haven't got it, get it. Okay, so that is number five. Number six, everyone should have a crayon in their life. The craze started off, the lip crayons, the craze started off with Clinique who brought out these chubby sticks. They're like lip crayons and they're lip balms. So they're very sheer. So even though it looks bright in its packaging, it comes out very, very sheer. Um, they were a massive sellout and they now do eyeshadows and things in the same format. But these are still the most popular and they come in lots of different colours. Every other brand I know has created one. From Revlon to Estee Lauder to uh, Autograph, that's M&S, to Max Factor to... Oh, that's another Clinique one. Um, oh, and that one is Soap and Glory. They have all done them. Um, one of my favourites, actually, apart from Clinique, I think, it's actually the Revlon ones. They twist up to, which is what's brilliant about the Clinique ones, um, and they just are a hint of colour, uh, and you can just shove them in your handbag. Uh, nothing leaks, nothing spills, they're absolutely brilliant. They last forever as well. That is wonderful, um, because you can look glamorous without it being too much of a statement, so that's why I like those. Um, number seven on my list are Charlotte Tilbury, sorry, I do mention Charlotte Tilbury a lot, but her range is amazing. Charlotte Tilbury eye palettes. I think every woman should own one of these, and there is one in her range for every woman. There are lots and lots of different types of eyeshadow looks that you can create. I've got three here, there's this one, this one, and this one is all greys and it's like rock chick. This one down below is called the Golden Goddess, which is what I have on. And this one is called Uptown Girl, which is sort of greys and pale pinks. Probably would suit somebody like um, Kate Middleton. Um, they're absolutely amazing because on the back of them all, they have a four step process so you can understand how to apply them. Uh, it says prime, enhance, smoke and pop. So you apply them in that order. Um, you don't have to apply all the four steps, but you can prime your lids, enhance with this colour, add smoke, and if you want to, there's normally like a little um, extra um, a glittery eyeshadow or a little bit of punch or some sparkle like that one. Well, this one has sort of like, a, it's a bronzy, um, it's a bronzy shade with some glittery colour in it, um, which is the pop. They're absolutely brilliant, everyone should have them 
in their makeup bag and they're timeless, they will never go out of fashion. So we love those. And they last and last. I think they're amazing value for money, actually. Okay, number eight is James Reed Sleep Mask Tan. Um, as I said, I do love to use a bit of self-tan, otherwise I feel like I look like a boiled egg without it. I look absolutely pale and wan. So, um, this is an amazing invention because you apply it before you go to bed and you wake up glowy and slightly bronze and that's all there is to it and it is a very believable colour and when I put it on people say to me oh you look very well which is exactly what you want to hear so that's wonderful um, for hair number nine on my list is Moroccan oil as a brand uh, this is a frizz control mist because uh, my hair can be a bit wild but one of my favourite products actually in the range is the Moroccan oil the first product they brought out uh, it's not just for people with frizzy hair, it's for anyone with flyaway hair, anyone with dry ends. It comes in a lighter version and a slightly heavier version, depending on the thickness of your hair. And it's just an amazing brand. I don't know many people who don't like it. Um, what's modern about it, and what will make it a modern classic, is you can't feel it in your hair. And modern hair is all about being able to touch your hair not creating hair that is too hard or crispy or rock solid. You've got to be able to touch your hair, you've got to be able to feel it, it's got to be believable and natural. So I think this brand is fantastic, everyone should have some in their bathroom cabinet. And last but by no means least is Chanel's wonderful Le Beige collection. They have brought out a collection of different colour beiges basically. Um, and at the heart of the collection are these, well they're bronzers, but they're very delicate bronzers, they're not too dark, they just add a bit of colour. I've got some on today, it just takes the edge off sort of very pale skin, um, comes in different shades, and it doesn't have any shimmer. So if you wear a bronzer with too much shimmer, it's not very believable anymore because our skin doesn't have shimmer. So I think some brands went through years and years of creating um, products with loads of shimmer, and it just didn't look real. There are other things in the Le Beige collection from highlighting powders that make skin glow without the sparkle and there are different foundations, very very light foundations, a bit like the Lancome one that just even out your skin and create a very flawless finish whilst letting your sort of skin um, shine through so it doesn't look like a mask um, and it's a fantastic collection. Le Beige by Chanel. Thank you for listening and I'll be back next week. Thanks!